Hello, Finnegan. Back with a YouTube video. I'm excited about the title. Um, I'm here to give you a review. Uh, well, a review of Infinite Warfare. Like a game game review. Um, I'm going to be doing loads more of these. Such as Overwatch, Battlefield 1. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. FIFA 17. I'm going to do all the games I can. So, let's start with Infinite Warfare. No doubt about it. This is the most this is the most controversial Call of Duty ever, ever, ever made. Regarding complaints. Why? It's still futuristic. Now, one thing I've noticed is the people that were new to Call of Duty. So, for example, the people that haven't played Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, stuff like that, they're like they're like they're like they're like this. But the people who who, who played Call of Duty since World at War and Modern Warfare Rema and Modern Warfare, they don't like stuff like this because Call of Duty is like it's supposed to be put on the ground. If you if you if you've only just started playing Call of Duty. Of Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare, you like this, you really would like this. But like I said, people like me, who who played Call of Duty since the very, very start, don't like any of this. This is not Call of Duty. And honestly not. Um That's why people are complaining about it. Right, let's start off with the campaign. Now the campaign this year is a little bit different. You have side missions on this one, and you have ma obviously main missions. Now, every single mission is on is in the in in, in, um, in space. There's, I think there's one or two missions on, on planet Earth. I think I'm not entirely sure. Where. I don't know. But most missions, well, basically every single mission is in planet you know, in, in space, like a different planets, if you know what I mean. And um, the story, I like I said, I'm not going to give the story away. The story is really good. I'd rate the story eight out of ten. Um, I'm being honest. The campaign is probably the only good thing about this game. Um, so yeah, I'd rate the campaign. 8 out of 10, like I said, there's side missions, there's loads of side missions, and there's also main missions as well, which is kind of good. Now, can I just warn you as well, before you play the campaign, you do travel in a spaceship a hell of a lot. You go from space to space on a spaceship. You know, you go from like planet to planet on a spaceship, should I say. So, yeah. I'll read the campaign, 8 out of 10. Now, on to zombies. Now, zombies. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, first time I played it, I thought it was actually kind of good. But then the more you play it, it's just, it's just got nothing to it, it's nothing, it's nothing special, if you know what I mean, compared to, it's, nothing can replace Treyarch, regarding zombies, nothing, whatsoever. Um, so, uh, I'm, 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 I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm, I'm not really, I, I, I would say zombies is better than, actually no, campaigns are obviously better than zombies. But it's just got nothing to it. I don't know what the story is, if you know what I mean. It's a bit too arcadey as well, if you know what I mean. Like it's, I don't know. Nah, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not, like I said, Treyarch Zombies will always be my favourite. Um, also as well, for the first time ever, you also have zombie crates. Which you can also purchase with cup points as well. What a surprise. So yeah. You also, you can, like, like I said, there we go there. You can buy... A rare zombie crate and zombie crates. Unbelievable, isn't it? So yeah. If you ask me, Anthony, what would you rate zombies? I'd rate zombies five out of ten. Like I said, it's got no story to it. Basically, you go in a match. Obviously, you can get four people in, and it's just you have to survive. That's it. Same as everyone. But like I said, I don't understand what the story is. I really don't. Um, I've only played it three times, like so. Obviously, I, can't, I don't understand the story, but. I don't know if there's actually a story to it. I don't know. Yeah, so, like I said, Treyarch Zombies is more better than that. You know, more better than Infinite Warfare's, uh, Infinite War Zombies. Right, on to the most controversial part. Multiplayer. Now. Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Some people liked it. Some people hated it. Most people I've spoke to about this here hate it. Hate it. Why? Because it's too futuristic. Let me just show you something here. Right. Let me, let me just show you something here. Right. Well, what? Let, let's start off with the Quartermaster. One thing I cannot stand, stand about Call of Duty now is this. The Quartermaster. Right. Look at all of these here. Mark II Collection. Look at all of these. Look. I mean, what the fuck is this? Do you know what I mean? Just look at them all. This is asking for money. Don't get no, right. Don't get me wrong. Companies need to make money. To obviously to stay open. Don't get me wrong. But 
they're taking a bit too far, I mean, look at all of this here. You know. It's like a pay to win thing, if you know what I mean. Uh, most things are. I mean, look at all of these. Don't get me wrong, I like these ones. These are okay. The Mission Depots. They're okay, but these here, the Mark II collection and the... Look at all of these here. There's, t look at th there's too many of them. Yeah, so, as you, I, as you can tell in my previous videos, I do not like supply drops. I despise the supply drops. I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. I would Put this way, I would never ever buy a supply drop. Never, with my own money. I would, I would never do that. Uh, right, so let's say we want to create a class. Now, as you could probably imagine, the weapons are really futuristic in this game. So, for example, let me just show you something. The assault rifles, right? The Type 2 and the Volk, they're both energy guns. Um, the Volk obviously shoots out like blue energy balls, whatever they call them. And the Type 2 is like a rapid fire gun, like things out energy. The SMGs. Now, I haven't actually used the SMGs yet, but I think a few of them are are uh, any energy guns, I think. I, I think, no. Actually, I don't know. I don't think they are. The only, en the only submachine gun I've used is the Kame. I think, yeah. Like I said, there's the um, LMGs, sniper rifles. Like I said, there's just um, the classics. You won't be 45. That's the Spass 12. I'm guessing that's the intervention, I think. That's the M1 Garand. That's, yeah. So, like I said, it's also as well. I was watching a YouTube video before, and someone made a really good point, right? On Black Ops 3, you have these things called specialists, right? Now, what they've tried to do on this is, they've tried, the combat rigs are basically specialists. They failed. They really have. I mean, the specialists, they're all boring. They've got nothing to them. They're all robots. Look. They're all robots. Well, that one isn't a robot, I don't think. I don't know. You don't, you don't know which robots are just, you know what I mean? It's just, <sighs> it's horrible. It really is. Um. Yeah. Most of them are robots. Just boring. I mean, the gameplay on Black Ops 3, like, don't get me wrong, you can boost jump on that. It's like, it feels, it feels as if Infinite Warfare is a slower paced game than Black Ops 3, if you know what I mean. It's a bit strange, I don't know. So, anyway, that's my review on Infinite Warfare. Anthony, if you pro if it probably asked me the question, Anthony, what would you rate this game out of 10? 6. Some people will love this game. And some people will hate this game. You can't be in between it, if you know what I mean, because... I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I actually enjoyed this game for the first three weeks. Then it clicked, it clicked in my mind, I was like, I don't enjoy this anymore, there's nothing special to it. There's nothing, you know... If this game, right, put it this way, if this game wasn't called Call of Duty, some people, most people will play it. Because, but because it's called Call of Duty, people expect the game to be absolutely fantastic. Boots on the ground gameplay. That's why people dislike it, because it's, if it, this, for me, this is not Call of Duty, it's not. Um, don't get me wrong, the, the gameplay is similar to Call of Duty, but Call of Duty, it's it's supposed to be like, I don't know, I just haven't got that Call of Duty thing into it. It's just, it's really sad, it really is, because, yeah, it is sad. And put it this way, Sedgehammer Games need to listen to the community and give what the, give what the community want. And that is a boot on the ground Call of Duty. Because if they don't, and make an advanced warfare to or another futuristic game, Call of Duty will be in crisis. That's a fact. So that's my review. If you like the video, please like the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Expect another review in the next couple of days. And I'll see you all on my next video. Take care. Thank God for watching. Take care.